So it all worked out in the end. <laughs> Hamburg. My name is Ilonka. Yes, it's Ilonka. It's spelled with an I but pronounced with an E and that's why this channel is called Stitchy Ilonka. Welcome uh, to all your returning wonderful beautiful returning people and also welcome to some new people if you only just found me. I'm very sorry. Here I am. I've been waiting for you. Good that you're finally here. Wonderful. I brought you uh, to the living room today as we're nearing 100. I might, I thought we might have some, we might have to have some more space. So I just brought you upstairs with me. Well, the real reason is that I've been itching to uh, get out another video and um, it's Wednesday today and my boyfriend is usually gaming on Mondays and Wednesdays. And so I have the living room to myself. And so I just thought, well, the setup here is also okay and it's bright enough uh, for me to f do some filming and um, yeah because I really wanted to do some personal shout outs to my lovely friends to my, here on, on Floss Tube and in the Stitching Verse. Um, thank you Amber for shouting me out and bringing some more people over. Also Megan, a lot of uh, new commenters under my videos came from you uh, which is who is Stitchy Moon here on on YouTube and also Vanessa Stichenes on Instagram who shouted me out a few times in her post that was really lovely. Morty and the Stubborn Stitcher might have also mentioned me somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know where but uh, nonetheless wonderful. <laughs> I actually had uh, the privilege of meeting some of you in uh, a Zoom call that I attended two weeks ago and that was just so lovely. I was so nervous because I was like, okay, what am I gonna wear? Do I have to do put on makeup? What are we all stitching on? Uh, I still have uh, lines on my project. Uh, am I really already that good to be able to uh, um, participate in such such a meeting? And they said, yeah, it's okay. And it was okay. It was lovely. It was just, um, yeah, I felt I felt so welcomed, and uh, it was just it was just great. And I was also invited to a lovely. Um, Discord group and yeah it's really wonderful to be finally able to interact with all of you wonderful people and share our love for this great hobby and speaking of hobbies um, today I really had um, I received my knighthood no that's just, that's just way too much <laughs> well actually um, if you're following me on Instagram please do it's also Stitchy Lonka um, you might have seen this one which is the um, December Dance. The pattern is called December Dance by Lindy Stitches. And these are two beautiful red-footed boobies doing their mating dance with a little Christmas hat on. And um, yeah, I was, so, I was so intrigued by this because uh, actually the blue-footed boobies, they are and always have been my favorite um, animals, and I'll talk about them in a bit. But let me just tell, tell you something about this one. Um, I really didn't have any idea what to do with it now, and because our couch is not that big that I could turn everything into cushions, and so I thought, well, what am I going to do with it? And then I remembered this very boring white um, cup that I once got um, in a on on holiday on uh, Fur, which is a, in an island in in the Northern Sea that I'm usually went to with my parents and with my family and I got it there and I didn't want to throw it away but it was so plain and so boring and then I just took it with me to the office today and made um, these dancing boobies into a sleeve and now I have a wonderful memory in there with wonderful memories on how I got uh, this one and how I stitched this one and it's gonna be uh, wonderful for my glühwein <laughs> like, is it malt wine? No, it's not malt. It's red wine with Christmassy herbs and spices and stuff. And it's usually something that we drink on our Christmas markets here in Germany. So yeah, that's... Um, and actually, I, I posted it uh, just a few hours ago. And Lindy seemed to... Oh, Lindy. It's not Lindy. She, her name is Stephanie. And Stephanie seemed to, seemed to like it. And she posted it in her stories too. And so 15,000 people 
saw this thing that I made. <laughs> well, actually, I don't, I don't suppose that there will be that many, but uh, yeah, a girl can dream, can't she? So yeah, this is um, start and finish within the last two weeks. It's really quite a quite a quick stitch. I um, um, I used a different fabric than she recommended, and I also used some different colors. And that's what you get when you try to color match in artificial lighting, and when it's dark outside already when you come home from work. I actually even took this um, this half finished project to to Karstadt, which is like a wholesaler here in um, in in Hamburg, and tried to color match the floss. But yeah, it's it's all right in in the camera, but. Um, I maybe should have stuck with what she said on her instructions because she knows what she's doing and I've been only stitching for four months so I should trust the, the professional people. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you something about boobies. <laughs> so boobies, um, the, the German word for boobies is Tölpe. You see from the umlaut, it's quite a funny name, Tölpel, and the Tölpel is a kind of an old-fashioned word to, you would say to someone who is kind of a um, 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 a villager, like a, a yokel or an oaf, or someone who's always dropping something and is very clumsy with uh, with things, with handling things. And um, I I found out, I also found out that uh, in in the Greek, like the Greek term for Tölpel or for boobies is let, let me see, I uh, wrote it down, is moros, and that doesn't, uh, that, that sounds similar to morons, and I just find the whole, uh, um, the whole co context of uh, these birds who are doing their blue suede shoe mating dance, trying to pick up a mate by being as quirky as possible. <laughs> find them just hilarious and they are not that small either they can go up to like 80 centimeters um which is almost a meter and that's really um not too too best not too small so they and i also had another finish this week um which were the two cities that i stitched for my friends who uh, who moved to Dusseldorf this uh, this week and I'm going to insert a video clip here because I filmed myself uh, how I how I backed the stitch hoop that I bought. The stitch hoop is rather bendy um, like it was it, I thought it was wood but when I packed when I unpacked it it only looked like wood it was more of a like a silicone hoop and I backed it up with felt and uh, yeah I'm just gonna insert the video here. Okay, here you see me, um, I have, I, I cut out a, a round disc of felt and I'm just covering it in a piece of fabric that matches the whole theme of it and pressing down those little tiny bits and pieces with my bone folder so that I don't, um, so that I don't burn my fingers, which I obviously did. <laughs> and I already cut out a piece of felt the same size that goes right into the hoop. Um, between the, the, the stitching and the fabric, so to speak. Um, here you can see it, there it is, like I, um, a piece of felt already between the stitching and I wrapped around just the remaining Ada fabric uh, uh, remains and I'm making sure that everything fits nice and, and tight and um, also making sure that all the fabric is tucked in as it should be. And then I'm just taking my hot glue gun and uh, a bit of confidence <laughs> and glue the two felt pieces together. So it's not really, the hot glue is not touching the stitching at all. It's just touching the, another piece of felt that's already between um, the stitching and the wrapped around Ada. I hope I'm making myself clear. Um, yeah, you can see me. I just take a bit of hot glue and press it down and the hot glue seeps in between the holes of the Ada cloth, Ada fabric, and uh, the two felt pieces stick together and I hope it will hold up. And it will, yeah, work. It actually looks quite neat, I thought. I already uh, um, tried it out on another piece, which you can see in the upper, upper left corner.
And then I just wrote two notes that I also glued to the back of it. And I used a, a paper box that I had around, um, put them both inside and then uh, painted the paper box to look like a wooden crate. Um, yeah, they, they liked it and they also um, pointed out the different city, like the different uh, uh, skyscrapers that are in Düsseldorf and she told me which one each one is and I have to, uh, um, I have to visit them sometime and uh, seek out all the, the, the things that I've already stitched and visited for myself so I can see if it's really like um, a, a good representation of what Düsseldorf actually looks like. And so I have a lot of time right now to stitch on other things. And one thing that I'm currently stitching on is going to be a present for my boyfriend for Christmas. And I was, I was, um, oh, everything fell down. Wonderful. The other day I was stitching, um, I was stitching on the sofa and I was looking for another YouTube video to watch. And uh, um, a YouTube video by Amber Rogue Mama Stitcher came up and the screen grab was just uh, her and her boy her son in the background and his son, the, the son was wearing a t-shirt with the Goonies logo or the movie logo on it and I had to grab a screenshot and send her what I was currently stitching on is this I can only stitch on this on Mondays and Wednesdays when my boyfriend is, is, is gaming and this is the Etsy shop that I got it from I put it on on gray 16 count Ada or I would have to have something behind it because it's shining through but you can still see it um, and I, that was the first time that I used um, silk, the f um, silk floss from the Thread Gatherer, the black ink silk floss I used on this one. And it's, it's just, it's a game changer. I will never use any other black thread ever again. Um, mark my words, this is just, the, the, the coverage on this is perfect. Um, and this is also what I'm going to use to see if I can do the 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 golden girls that I've been stitching on 14 count if I can use this silk thread on there uh, to give it a bit more coverage because um, the th the silk is a bit thicker than DMC or anchor and so um, yeah it's gonna be I hope it's gonna be it's gonna be good and I was actually I'm still bummed because I still use <laughs> I still grid my fabric in that kind of way um, because I I made um, a few mistakes in the Christmas cell that I'm working on right now and this really bumped me up because I didn't th uh, grid it in, in the beginning and the other day I saw a video by Thread the Needle, I, I'm sorry I forgot her name, Thread the Needle, She's she does a lot of cr um, full coverage cross stitch and she's been doing it for years and years and years and she is still gridding her fabrics and I thought, well, if she still does it, so it's okay for me to, to still do it. But I hope that I can soon um, become so prolific that I won't have to use the the training wheels <laughs> and that I can um, get rid of that. Oh, and I did, I got my, my sewing bug back when I started doing these um, these these bags. And for each bag, I made uh, an... A pouch for my flosses to go with a bag. I'm really kind of, <laughs> I'm not proud of it, it's just it really brings me joy to have um, a matching pouch with each bag and actually I have to tell you I am a proper influencer right now yeah so I can really call myself an influencer because the other day on a in a um, in a Facebook group someone tagged me and showed me the uh, showed me a like a, um, a toiletry bag with a clear plastic in front of it. She sewed, she sewn it up with fabric in this clear plastic and she was like, okay, now Ilonka has uh, uh, said, now that she said that it's easy to stitch, uh, to sew with it, I have, I'm gonna have to do, or I'm gonna have to try my hands on these project bags too. Thank you, Ilonka. And I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm a proper influencer now, yay. Okay, let's uh, see what I've got next. I'm I'm was stitching again on I'm stitching my on stitching on my Loki thing again. I filled out the the tiny little pieces that were missing because I don't need the green and the 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 skin colored stuff anymore for this one. And I but I need uh, these colors in other 
uh, in other projects and I, was, I just need uh, a few blues and the black on this one for the remaining for the remaining stuff here and so I just finished with uh, the, the small details so I can put them back in my stash and uh, can kit up the new projects that I'm working on currently and I am really happy to be back into this one because um, Hawkeye just dropped on Disney Plus the new Marvel series and I can't wait for the new um, Hawkeye stitching patterns that will come up and on, on Etsy I hope there are going to be a few good ones because the title cards and the um, the credits they already um, did it with like a, a lot of silhouettes and blocked colors and stuff and it looks really really cool and I was like there are a lot of things or a lot of uh, motifs that I would like to what that I would like to stitch okay next one I also made or oh, um, speaking of Speaking of making pouches for my bags, I have to take this out because there's still the pattern in there. Let me just quickly so that I'm not flashing it. I made a new bag, uh, which is so elegant. It looks rather springy, doesn't it? This is the back and this is the front. And um, I was just shopping for what I was what was I shopping for? I went to Karstadt, which is a huge like a uh, convenience store here in in Hamburg, and um, I was actually just looking for these huge embroidery hoops by Prim because I like them so much. They're really sturdy and they have um, these golden or goldenish uh, 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 screws on the top. And I was only looking for them, and I came across a a, um, a fabric bin. And of course I just couldn't go past it and so I bought this one and I also bought this this blue one here and uh, I had some lilac-y um, zipper left and so I made another pouch to go with that beautiful one and what I'm going to do for this one is the I cannot really show you the pictures, but you know the the tiny art uh, Van Gogh, uh, not just Van Gogh, but the tiny art pieces. Let me just um, write down here the the Etsy shop where you can get it, and it's really really worth checking out because the 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 pieces. I gritted my fabric already. This is a fourteen count Ada, and the pieces will only be like this big. They're going to be tiny, 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 and I'm going to do three on this piece. One, one vertical, two vertical ones, and one horizontal one. And this is going to be a, a Christmas present for my mother-in-law. Um, see how she likes it because she's a, she considers herself to be a true abstract artist, which she which she is. She does a lot of oil painting, and she had vernissages, and she sold some pictures and stuff. So she's a proper, <coughs> sorry, a proper artist. And I'm very curious uh, what she might say about me stitching up uh, a few of these of these big classic like um, motifs or paintings that are out there okay we were talking about customs the other day or I was talking about customs the other day with with uh, two floss to with Amber and Megan it seems like I'm always talking to them um, who have their birthdays coming up this month and also uh, I think Amber's it's it's Amber's birthday I think it was is it is it today is it today I think it is today or was it no it was well anyway happy birthday Amber uh, happy birthday can I already say it Megan or is it well anyway what I was going to say is that they told us in their latest floss tubes that they, it's going to be their birthday soon and um, they had a few comments a bit below there and they all said oh happy birthday happy birthday and I was just typing away and I was like okay I'm not going to wish you a happy birthday today because uh, it's considered bad luck if you say it in advance in Germany and they were commenting were like is it is it is it that I mean is it really true like uh, I, we never knew that about Germany and I was just talking to some other people I was like that's that's common in Germany, right? Like you are not saying happy birthday in advance. You would say like happy belated birthday if it's been like yesterday or a few days past, but you would never say it in advance because it's considered bad luck. 
and I was just wondering, there are so many customs um, that are, well, more or less the same, but very, very different in the way they are carried out across uh, across this whole world. And ever since I talked to people from different countries uh, in my latest Zoom call, I was like, isn't it, wouldn't, wouldn't it be interesting? Oh, and also Anastasia, the Russian girl who lives in Beijing, she made a a day in the life with her the other day and she uploaded it go check her out that was really interesting because she took the camera with her during the whole day that she spent or oh, what a, a usual day in beijing for her is like and uh, it was so interesting to me to see how other people just um go about their days in the in the different countries and what customs they have for example um ever since Hol uh, ever since halloween was over people were putting up um, Christmas decorations well at first like Thanksgiving decorations but also putting up trees and putting up Christmas decorations <clears throat> and in Germany you wouldn't do that because you would wait for the uh, eternity Sunday which is like the day of the dead for like the Christian church or at least that's how we consider it here in Germany um, so we would wait for it's usually the last Sunday in November is that right no the last Sunday in November is already the first of Advent like it's Christmas the four Sundays before Christmas are the Advent Sundays and that Sunday before that is the Eternity Sunday like the Day of the Dead and uh, it's it's a day for mourning you would go to the like if your um, if someone has passed away during that uh, church year you would go to the church at that day and um, like last year when my mom passed away we went there in November and the um, someone was reading out all the names and the ages and where they lived from our community who died within that year and for every person the pastors lit a candle and stood it in front of the altar and by the end of the day the altar was really like going and the, the organ was playing and um, we had like all the lights for all the the souls that have left the community within that christian year and so this is really rather a a special day in the german culture i suppose and that you would wait after eternity sunday to put or to switch on your christmas lights and then from monday on you cannot sleep anymore because uh all the <laughs> the windows are blinking and there are lights everywhere and uh, you would hear last christmas for the first time in the radio <laughs> and all of that good stuff that's considered to be wonderful around christmas so. so these four sundays before christmas the advent sundays are something special here in not just here in germany i suppose they are all over the world because you light a candle for each Advent Sunday until it's Christmas and because these uh, Sundays are so special I decided to have a start on each Sunday and um, I, I already selected four pieces that I will be stitching on and um, I placed a huge uh, a huge floss um, order with a Stickteufelchen and it's going to come tomorrow and I will spend I don't know two or three days sorting through all of it and kidding uh, kid, kid, kidding the things up and but I've already found the fabric that I want to use and the the motifs that I'm gonna stitch and as you as you might already know about me I'm a huge huge nerd so is my boyfriend and this one is going to go on the wall together with the Star Wars posters that we already have up and with all of the other wonderful things, Grogu and Loki and, uh, you know, at first I thought uh, one of each franchise, but I am pretty sure that I'm going to do multiple things for, for, for some franchises because they're so cool. Anyway, so back to the captains, Star Trek. I think you might know all of them and it's such a cool and clean um, oh, this is the, the Etsy shop, Happy Sloth, where I got it from. I'm going to stitch it on uh, 14 count Ada because I still have so much 14 count Ada lying around here. And I think I'm going to do it with uh, three strands instead of two. And because there are so many, like, th there's, not, there's not really much color change. Like, it's solid colors. And I really want to have the coverage to be very solid. And I see how it's going to go. So this will be one of them i don't know if it will be the first one 
um, because I thought when I had a look through for all the, um, the floss that I still have in my stash and what I would need, I would probably be able to start stitching already on this one. Of course, this is the Hogwarts Crest. I think I will do the Slytherin Green. The snake is not really well visible, I think. So I would probably either do the snake in a different color, maybe a lighter silvery color, or I would do the green a bit lighter. I don't know yet, but... Um, yeah, this is going to be one that I will be starting on. 16 count Ada It's also going to go on the wall. And what else? The third one will be... Sorry. The third one will be... An Edit Walker. And this will be one... This will be actually my first one on black ada and i am already fearful not fearful i will i'm, I'm very excited on how you uh, on, on how it's going to work out because i've never stitched on black ada before and i really have to grit i don't know my way around the, the holes yet and especially on black one uh, on black fabric so um it's gonna take maybe a few hours to grit the fabric to be able to really stitch on it um, oh, the crest and uh, the edit walker, they are both from uh, Print and Decor on Etsy. This shop is just perfect. The, the uterus that I have, the brain that I have, a few um, patterns that I already have are from the same, um, from, from that same shop. And they have so many cool, beautiful, crazy, quirky um patterns you really have to you really have to check them out but this one is really really cool the first thing when i showed it to my boyfriend the first thing was like on hoth there's ice and ice is not orange so here and i was like this is like an artificial interpretation like be open to new things please <laughs> But it's anyway, it's, it's really wonderful to uh, to speak with my boyfriend about all these beautiful things because his brain is just, I said it before, he's an artist. Like every time I show him something, even even with this one here, I showed him this and he's, he was like, okay, now let's do something else. Like you would have to have, like it's have to be, it has to be cozy. So just do one third of like faux fur um, and then you have like, a pocket here that you can insert a tiny stitching and then you would have the first third here would be faux leather so it would be more sanitary and you he was already planning out sewing patterns and stitching patterns for, <laughs> for this cup and um yeah it's really cool i show him something and i'm very proud of it and he always comes up with something that i can make it better i love him anyway we were going through the Etsy shop countrymagicstitch.com and you've already seen, uh, well, the one that is probably most familiar or that I see most often on social media is this one. They have these cool, cool, cool visit, visit posters, like vintage city posters. And um, they have such a variety the one that caught my eye also was and i think this was the main inspiration for that visit twin peaks um i like that really very much and i was wondering because they already have like a few for lord of the rings and um, other franchises let me just grab this one because this looks so cool like um and my boyfriend, when he saw this, he was like, okay, um, can we like light it from the back so it looks like it's glowing? And I was like, you cannot really light it from the back because then you would see that would just be one blob of, of, of darkness because you will be seeing all the threads that are carried around behind all this. And it's not really uh, um, a good idea, but we can stitch the, the white here with like an iridescent thread or with silvery glittery thread 
And then he was like, oh, that's a cool idea. What else do we have for Lord of the Rings? Can we make like a set of Lord of the Rings? And I was like, yeah, this is Isengard. And he's like, oh, cool. Can we do like like uh, lines here in this tower? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh yeah, it's picking up quite well. Like it's not just one black color. There are lines in it. Can we do like the, the lines also, not, not not all of it in, in iridescent thread or in variegated thread but can we do just a few so that it gets more depth and i was like yeah this is a cool idea what else what else and uh he came up with the los lorian and i believe like these long threads here they are backstitched anyway and we could use like glow and dark threads or whatever and he was always coming up with details that you can that you could enhance the finished piece and i'm just i just love him for that Anyway, what I was about to say at first, I'm, eventually I'm going to stitch them all, I suppose, but um, the first four I'm going to do, but I will be starting with just one. The first one it will be um, these three. Let me see if I can hold them up together because I think it looks cool. No, wrong. Yeah. That way. I think they go very well together. Three big, big, big franchises. Three big franchises. <laughs> and one of each. And uh, so this will be the start. I know that it's going to take me some time to finally get there. But he already came up with a few modifications for this one too. Like there are little um, windows on that. Is it? What? what actually what is it actually on this building there are windows and these windows can be in a different color and also i'm trying to uh, find highlights here um to stitch in a different color <clears throat> and i already said that i'm going to be using like metallic threads for the back stitching here and for dune morty are you watching and for dune we're gonna do the following because they actually made well, it's not a mistake per se. Um, they show three moons here, but you would also say this this can be the sun and then the two moons, but Arrakis only has two moons. And on the bigger moon, there is a shadow of, of a hand. And also on the other moon, there is a shadow of this little tiny desert mouse that is running around. And the desert mouse is called Moadib, and um, also the moon is called Muad'Dib. And so we are right now wondering how we can incorporate like the shadow. So I would, this is kind of a, a, a pinky thread, pinkish thread. And I will use a, a darker pink to kind of shade in either the hand or the, or the mouse so that it really looks like, well, looks like as it's supposed to be. And uh, this is going to be a challenge, <laughs> but a challenge that I'm willing to take. Well, doesn't it look cool? Especially, I was also wondering, I was like, well, the, 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 the newer film, like the movie from this year, the, the worm doesn't have these three tiered mouth. This is more of the design that was in the movie from 1994 or something. Um, but he was like, yeah, this is my favorite movie and this is the, the way I imagined the worms when I read the books and this is the way uh, it is stuck in my mind. And so this is a vintage poster. It looks like vintagey. And so we would, we would use this one. I'm very excited to do this one. This will actually be my first full coverage. It's not too big. Let me see. 128 by 176. So it's not really big 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 on 14 count so on 16 count that i'm doing it it will be even smaller do you know what i was wondering if i could just order the pre-gridded like the easy count 16 count ada i cannot get it anywhere in the german stores i can get 14 count 20 count and even like lugana pre-gridded like easy count but 16 count easy count is sold out everywhere so um, I will just have to grid it myself, but that wouldn't be a problem. So these four are going to be my advent starts and um, I have no idea how long it will take because I'm still underestimating or overestimating. I, I'm 
overestimating my skill and I'm underestimating how long it's going to take me to be finally finished. And um, But anyway, it's all about starting, right? I was talking to someone the other day and he was like, yeah, as many as you want. And now that I have so many beautiful like project bags, you know, I will have to have, I have to sew up new project bags for the new projects that I'm doing. So win-win. <laughs> okay, now, um, usually I do my shout outs in, uh, in the beginning, but this time I just had to tell you about my little tiny boobies here. I had to tell you about my boobies. <laughs> Cut that out. Uh, so the Flosstubers that I've been watching lately was um, there were a lot because I got to got to know so many new people and so many new wonderful Flosstubers commented onto my videos and um, I also met some new people on Instagram and stuff and it was really really wonderful to see all those different approaches and all those different personalities and it was just so amazing to me there was um, a one. Let me just see which one was it. Oh yeah, the crazy cat lady. She's from from England, I suppose. Oh my god, I should have done my Google it just now. She's from England, and she stitches like the 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 projects that she held up were so different from each other. It was one plane that she stitched up. I think it was kind of a like it had camouflage on it. I don't know if it was like a, a war plane or something. And then she showed a beautiful, beautiful dragon stitched on black uh, fabric. And what else did she have? She had so many different oh, cats. Of course, she's a cat lady. <laughs> and I was listening to her through my through my headphones. And uh, in the background, the the cats were fighting and running around. And I always had these little tip tippy taps of their their um their pause on the floor and it was just it was just funny to and nice to listen to her and show and uh, see what she all see what she has to um see what she has to show and what she's currently stitching on it was really really nice and i also found a uh, thread the needle that i've been talking about earlier and she really put my mind at ease with so many things because as I said, she's been stitching for years and years and years. She only does full coverage, which I'm really excited about right now. I actually dabbled, uh, or I actually spent a lot of time on Heaven and Earth designs, and I was wondering if I should jump into it. Oh, there is a um, there is a Facebook group that I'm linking down uh, downstairs, <laughs> that I'm linking below. Um, that is going to do the train of let me just see the train of dreams by randall spangler by heaven and earth designs they are currently in that state of gathering all the supplies and i think they will start in in january um i'll link it below if you want to to join them and i was really spending so much time on uh, heaven and earth designs and i was like they have to have so many beautiful things especially those uh paintings by leonard afermoff um shiloh uh, Cross the MD. She did. Um, she did a wonderful piece by him. It's so colorful and so beautiful. And she's actually working on another one right now, also by Afimov. And I was really, you know, I was wanting to start it all, but then I just thought, well, let me just finish a few things first that I have. And I really like finishing too. I like these little projects that I. Um, can work on and then after a few days I have something in my hand and I can see some things um, and so this is still for now it's the the way that I'm I'm working but the Arrakis one and all the the other visit posters they're going to be full full uh, coverage ones and really looking forward to to it and um, who else was I watching? Oh yes, Kayla Gray. She is rather new to Floss too. She's American. And she's just the cutest. Uh, she has also she has so many beautiful projects, and she showed us a costume that she's sewn up for her daughter for Halloween. It was a unicorn costume, completely self-made because her daughter had very, um, very specific ideas of how it should look like. <laughs> And she, as a good mother, as you do, um, made her a whole new costume, and it was just glorious. Uh, and I, and I just like her. I like listening to her, and uh, she's really nice. Check her out. And of course, I also met the Danish stitcher, and we immediately clicked because she, when I when I went to her 
YouTube page, I saw James Masters spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I found a kindred spirit. <laughs> and I really, um, I know that Buffy is already, is currently on Disney Plus and I think I will have to rewatch it. There's so much other stuff that I have to watch. I have to watch Hawkeye first and uh, I have to do Shang-Chi and Dune again because um, they're so complicated. I have to pay attention next time and not just stitching away. Anyway, so I, I'm gonna link all them below, give them a shout out, uh, let them know that I sent you. And um, yeah, if you want or if you would like, please, please, please subscribe to my channel so I can get over the 100 people. That would be already a, a nice milestone that I thought that I would only achieve by Christmas, but um, it's gonna be sooner, I hope. <laughs> Um, and also because I am currently working on an, uh, on a, a video that's going to be very, very important for you, as I said in the beginning. So please stay tuned for that. And what else can I say? I can wish you a nice Wednesday and Thursday tomorrow. It's going to be uh, Thanksgiving for you in the U.S., um, well, that's also something that I was wondering, like Thanksgiving is bigger in the US than Christmas, right? Like the, like your family comes together, especially on Thanksgiving and like Christmas, if it's a big family and they're coming from all over the place and you have a big table and everyone's eating together and that's the Thanksgiving thing and that's not the Christmas thing, right? Yeah, but anyway, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I wish you a happy november and we are going to see each other very soon and uh please uh, check out my instagram as well if you like and um yeah in hamburg sag mal tschüss <laughs> hope to see you soon again bye for now <laughs>